The world needs a new world order. The current world order, dominated by white European and American powers, has failed the people of Palestine, Yemen, Syria, Iraq, and many other countries. These countries have been subjected to injustice, betrayal, and violence at the hands of these powers. It is time for a new world order, one that is based on justice, equality, and respect for all people. This new world order must be centered on the needs of the people, not the interests of the powerful. The current world order is based on a system of white supremacy and colonialism. European and American powers have a long history of exploiting and oppressing other countries. They have plundered their resources, destroyed their cultures, and enslaved their people. The current world order is also based on a system of double standards. European and American powers are quick to condemn human rights abuses in other countries, but they are unwilling to hold themselves accountable for their own crimes. For example, the United States has killed millions of people in its wars of aggression in Iraq and Afghanistan. European powers have supported these wars and have also committed their own war crimes in countries such as Libya and Syria. The current world order is also based on a system of economic inequality. European and American powers have rigged the global economy in their favor, leaving billions of people in poverty. This system of injustice and inequality is unsustainable. It is leading to more and more conflict and instability around the world. It is time for a new world order, one that is based on justice, equality, and respect for all people. This new world order must be centered on the needs of the people, not the interests of the powerful. What can be done? There are a number of things that can be done to create a new world order. First, we need to raise awareness of the injustice and inequality of the current world order. We need to educate people about the history of European and American imperialism and colonialism. We need to expose the double standards that these powers use to justify their crimes. Second, we need to build solidarity with the people who are fighting for a new world order. We need to support the movements for justice and equality in Palestine, Yemen, Syria, Iraq, and other countries. Third, we need to hold European and American powers accountable for their crimes. We need to demand that they end their wars of aggression, withdraw their troops from occupied territories, and pay reparations to the people they have harmed. Finally, we need to work to build a new world order, one that is based on justice, equality, and respect for all people. This new world order must be centered on the needs of the people, not the interests of the powerful. Conclusion The current world order is failing the people of the world. It is time for a new world order, one that is based on justice, equality, and respect for all people. This new world order must be centered on the needs of the people, not the interests of the powerful.